are talking surrogate, also known as the surrogate. And this one is directed and co-written by David Willing. And it stars uh, Kessie Morassi as a character called Natalie. Uh, Morassi, I think, probably most notable for her role in Wolf Creek. You've also got a supporting role here from Jane Badler. I think most notably from her previous roles, you'll know her from her role as Diana in the TV series V in the 80s. Now this is an Australian ghost story with a little bit of a twist on the typical haunting story. So Natalie, uh, played by Morosi, is a nurse coming back from work one evening and she stops at a petrol station or gas station and there she witnesses a woman in distress and ultimately tries to give her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. However, she seems to have been passed something by this woman and then she kind of goes home uh, she's got her young daughter there. She's, you know, she's experiencing some discomfort. Maybe she's been, you know, picked up some type of viral infection, you might think. But it might be something a little bit more supernatural. Not long after, there seems to be a supernatural entity within this house. It seems to have designs on Natalie's daughter. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, let us discuss Surrogate. What works in this movie? Okay, so this movie plays more like a drama than a horror film. There are a couple of kind of like, quote unquote, spooky moments. But the general kind of tone of it feels more like it's, it's a drama. Which gives it this interesting flavour because it kind of plays very much straight like a kind of family drama. We've got child services involved, you know, there's um, accusations of... Um, child endangerment and maybe this you know there's bruises and stuff some others kind of getting uh, uh blamed for abusing the child things like this um so there's a lot of kind of dramatic elements and just the way this movie is shot uh the, the kind of the spooky elements are not really kind of played up in traditional kind of like horror imagery in a lot of ways it's, it's kind of played like if you were to have a seance scene in a soap opera it kind of feels like that in a, in a way, but it gives it this kind of like, uh, even though it, it kind of ultimately becomes not particularly scary, it gives it this kind of more of a um, dramatic real world feel to, to a certain degree, because it's more just kind of like matter of fact. So I actually kind of found the tone somewhat interesting. There's, there is a detriment to that, which we'll come on to, but I actually found the tone uh, of this movie uh, somewhat interesting. The movie itself, has a kind of a central mystery as the film progresses, and it's quite an interesting one. And I quite like the um, the kind of the unique way this kind of entity, this kind of uh, antagonistic supernatural force, you might say, has come about, and uh, and kind of like its method of of uh, go from one person to another. I thought was was pretty interesting here, and kind of what it wants. So there's certainly some interesting elements involved in this movie. I think Kesty Morassi as Natalie does an excellent performance. I really kind of thought her character was very, very likeable, very relatable. And again, this kind of goes into more of that dramatic element, just a believable kind of like mother character who kind of cares for her daughter. I like the kind of the subtle um, interplay that she kind of has with her, her brother, her mother. There's this kind of like little kind of personal interactions. It's not overplayed. They're not like kind of like grandiose uh, scenes and things like this, but it just goes, it just makes it feel like this is a real life kind of like working family that is, you know, that it's a relatively small family, a unit, but are quite close because of it. And it's just done in, in, in such a matter of fact way. You kind of totally kind of buy into the roles. I, I thought they were, re they were really kind of good here. And even the kind of the, the dramatic elements, we have Jane Badler's kind of child protection services. You know, that's kind of like almost like a B story in itself which again kind of leads into this kind of, this having more of a kind of a melodramatic feel to it than a kind of a, a horror element. Now, on, in regards to the horror elements, there are a couple of scenes here that are played more of a kind of a, a, a straight kind of supernatural kind of drama. And, uh, you know, they're somewhat kind of effective. It doesn't go overboard with any type of really a kind of over um, overly dramatic effects and things like this. It's a relatively subtle film and it's kind of visual depictions of kind of supernatural. But there are one or two scenes here that I think are kind of quite creepy and a couple of kind of like fun kind of like fake outs and things like this. 
The ending of the movie, I have mixed feelings on. There are some, there's one aspect, again, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I think the movie does a good job in a way of having a bittersweet ending. Let me put it like this, um, that I thought was interesting, albeit I thought it was flawed, but I actually thought the actual, um, you know, the, the actual ending was, was, you know, somewhat kind of a interesting and, and it kind of makes you want to, to kind of explore this story further. It doesn't really set that up for a sequel exactly, but it kind of, you almost feel like you want to have more, uh, you know, more interactions with these kind of characters and things like that, which I thought was, uh, was pretty good. Um, so, what doesn't work? Let's just carry, let's, let's, let's just kind of circle back to that ending, because again, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Despite, I think, the idea here being pretty solid for the ending, I feel it kind of undercut itself because, you know, it has, it's, it's, it's having this kind of, again, without spoiling anything, this kind of, the situation where it finds itself right at the very end, the, the last couple of sequences in the movie, and you're thinking, why haven't these characters done this? Why haven't they asked for help from this particular kind of organisation or people within that? You would have thought that they've made, again, I'm going to be vague here, they've made um, steps to protect certain parts of their family, which should then lead them to um, maybe pursue avenues uh, that would ultimately help them, which they don't seem to do. And again, and that sounds super vague, I'm trying not to spoil it for you. But to me, I felt, I felt the ending was a good idea. And it, and it gave it an interesting kind of like middle ground uh, feel to it, not going one typical way or the other, but at the same time, I think it, you know, it, it, it kind of lacked some kind of like, well, surely this person would do this in that case. And so there's the ending. Other than that, what can I say maybe that is a little bit kind of like on the weaker side of this movie? As I say, it plays down the horror a lot. This feels more like a dramatic movie with a couple of supernatural sequences within the film. And those sequences, are, you know, they're not particularly kind of overly scary. They're, they're played more in a kind of a not especially kind of scary or, or spooky. And I think the one thing the movie does really lack is a... A, a real sense of foreboding atmosphere within those sequences. The movie, I think, missed the trick of making this movie genuinely kind of scary and it, it, it kind of lacks that kind of foreboding atmosphere when it does have those um, those kind of supernatural sequences. And the kind of the, the VFX, the makeup that we do see is a little on the kind of like the, uh, the cheaper side. You know, if you want to be a little bit more kind, you could say it's a little bit too subtle in ways. It kind of just looks like, you know, not a particularly kind of um, overly scary uh, makeup effects here. Very much a daytime TV style kind of uh, horror elements here. It's just a little bit, there are some spooky moments, but I feel it kind of, it lacks a little bit of, uh, of bite on that one. Um, the actual kind of uh, plot, Again, there's a kind of a, uh, the reveal uh, towards the, the end of the third act about what's kind of really going on. I think it's relatively obvious because it kind of, you know, the, the movie thinks it's going in a certain way. You're thinking, well, if that was the case, surely this entity would be doing, why would it be doing this? Why would it be have, have this intent to kind of like someone? They don't really do a particularly good job of burying the lead, I don't think, you know, because they, they, they when, when all was revealed, um, you know, it's meant to be this big surprise, but you think, well, we've seen evidence that that's the case anyway. Uh, so it doesn't really kind of like, the actual twist or surprise, it's like, oh, well, that's kind of what I thought it was gonna be anyway, because we've seen evidence to, to point to that direction. Again, apologies for being vague, but it's obviously a new movie, I don't wanna spoil it. So, overall, I think oh, this movie is an above average film. A lot of that is down to, I think, the main actress here doing a fabulous job. It does have an interesting uh, section with she. I like some of the original ideas about how this kind of like, this entity, it, it travels from, you know, different people, different surrogates, you might say. Uh, that was all good. And, and overall, I think the movie is an interesting one. It lacks any real genuine kind of like, uh, scares in favor of being more melodramatic in, in that respect. So. It's not a particularly kind of scary film in any sense of the word, but it's an interesting uh, one with interesting kind of characters. I wish it could have sharpened some of the edges a little bit, to be honest. 
and this, the script I think could have been a little bit better here. But overall, it's still an above average film. It's an enjoyable movie, I think, with an interesting plot, albeit I think it adds a couple of flaws. Six out of ten, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.